Hi there, welcome to the Ultraspin video series. Today we're going to have a quick chat about the Ultraspin separator and the pieces of equipment that make up that separator. I'm just going to explain why we use certain pieces of equipment and how those pieces of equipment make the Ultraspin separator so efficient and so simple to use. We're going to use this diagram and one of our actual systems up on the test bay to explain the overall process, which involves oily water coming in through here on the left-hand side of the diagram, into the pit and through the skimmer, and then it works its way through the separator and out as clean water on the right-hand side here after it's gone through the Ultraspin separator. The reason our separator works so well is because of the overall process. Yes, our separator is extremely powerful, but it's our thoughtful, well-designed process that really makes sure the customer gets the best performance out of our systems. So here we have an Ultraspin electric cube up on our test bay. Um, we test every piece of equipment before it goes out just to make sure that there are no problems at all, everything's ironed out, and when you get it, it works perfectly. The first piece of equipment that we're going to look at, or first item in the Ultraspin process, is the skimmer. It's designed to take a, about a centimetre cut of oily water off the surface. Now obviously when oil is on the surface it's going to act like these bubbles that we can see here and it's going to float on the top. So as the skimmer starts up it will take all of those bubbles and they'll all get dragged into the skimmer. The skimmer serves a variety of purposes but one of the most important tasks it does is improve the quality of the water. It does this by skimming the oil off the surface which means you don't end up with really hard to treat dissolved oils and things like that in the wastewater. If you don't have a skimmer, you could also be susceptible to flooding, which is what's happened in this picture here. So we always use a skimmer with the Ultraspin process. From the skimmer, the water is drawn through our strainer basket. So this is what the basket looks like inside this little tank. It's the main maintenance point for the Ultraspin separator, and it's designed to collect things like earplugs and leaves um, and any large debris that you don't want to get through into the separator. From there, we go through the low shear pump, the reason we use low shear pumps is that they are nice and gentle on the oily water. So in some of the other videos, we've spoken about oil droplet size. The bigger an oil droplet is, the easier it is to separate. The smaller it is, the harder it is to separate. So we use a pump that's nice and gentle and keeps those oil droplets as big as possible. The pump is delivering the pressure that we need to run the Ultraspin separator. So this is one of the Ultraspin separator and it sits within that vessel. It doesn't move. It's just the force of the water moving within the separator that creates the separation that we need. The Ultraspin separator operates at more than a thousand times the force of gravity. So the water is ripping around inside and pulling the oil out. What we end up with is treated water coming out of this end and our separated oil stream coming out through this end of the separator, which is here. This separated oil stream collects in our oil collection and decant tank. The oil builds up on the top and periodically you get that pumped out by a, a maintenance company and any water that's gone with it, we automatically decant that back to the start of the process where it can get retreated again. So the equipment that we've gone through today is the Ultraspin electric cube. So it's a simple, compact, skid-based um, system with an electric pump. It's able to run 24-7. We also have a couple of other systems that we offer. So on the same style of skid, we can do a pneumatic pump um, that's intrinsically safe, so no need to get an electric system with explosion rated motors, save yourself some money, get the pneumatic system instead. We also do our heavy duty range, so the heavy duty range is generally used in tough environments, so on mine sites and things like that, and for when we've got larger flows that we need to deal with. You don't need to know exactly which piece of equipment that you're after, just give us a call and we can help you look at your application and work out which piece of equipment is going to work for you.